In this video, I'm going to share with you three things that I've been doing in the last few weeks that have really helped to improve the quality of my sleep so that I'm able to sleep deeper and feel more restful. Now, these are things that I've been able to measure and track objectively using the Zio, which I mentioned in a previous video is essentially a machine that rates your sleep and tracks how much REM, how much light, how much uh, deep sleep, how much time you're spent waking up during the middle of the night, how many times you wake up, how long it takes you to actually fall asleep. So I can tell you from where I started and then after I added things in and then how it affected me and then where I am now. So essentially what I've been able to do is increase my score on the Zio by about 50% roughly. So I started in high 60s, 67, 69, that area and now I'm able to do 97, 103, 110 in just a few weeks. So what that means is I'm sleeping better, I'm getting more deep restful sleep, and it's as a result of changing some different things, adding some different things in, which I'm gonna share with you. I'm gonna give you an herb, I'm gonna give you um, a supplement, and then uh, a free meditation actually that you can listen to before you go to sleep that will help slow over your brain waves down, calm your mind down, and help you sleep. And you'll see a link for that below where you can download it for free. So essentially, First thing that I've been doing, and one of the most helpful things that I've been doing, is a supplement called ZMA. And that's zinc, magnesium, and then vitamin B6 in a formulation. It's a really inexpen inexpensive supplement. I think it was like $12 for 100 capsules. I got mine at the local vitamin shop. You can just Google ZMA or go to your local health food store. Maybe you might have it, but definitely the vitamin shop will have it and just pick it up. Something you take about 30 minutes to an hour before bed, um, preferably on an empty stomach, so you wanna have eaten a few hours before and then take it, but I'm sure if you you know, didn't, it would be okay. But point being, you wanna do it 30 minutes to an hour before sleep, and what that's gonna do is help you sleep deeper, help you recover faster, as well as the, the zinc and the other minerals in there will help, especially for men, help out with hormones and testosterone. And essentially, it'll have you know hormonal effects and beneficial effects for women because, as people were typically deficient in zinc and magnesium, usually across the board, so it's really helpful to just take those in. So, this supplement was made popular through with um, bodybuilders and extreme athletes, professional athletes, and actually has some studies and research done showing that people who take this actually do have better athletic performance and sleep better and just have you know, improved gains across the board. So I've definitely noticed a positive difference from it, and it's something that's inexpensive and easy to use, easy to get, so highly recommend it. And again, it's ZMA, Zinc, Magnesium, Vitamin B6. So the second thing that I've been doing, which is kind of a, a, an old favorite, tried and true method for me, is consuming Hoshu Wu, uh, I guess about 30 minutes or so before bed and just taking about a teaspoon of the extract, stirring it up in a little bit of water, drinking it down, and it's usually an immediate kind of calming yin effect on the body. And Hoshu Wu was actually classified as a yin jing herb, so it really helps the yin processes of restoration, rejuvenation, the storing and condensation, and really accumulation of energy. So of course it makes sense to take it at night before you go to sleep, and it'll just help guide you and really help you wake up feeling more rested and refreshed. So the dosage on that would be about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of the 10 to one concentrated extract. And the third thing that I talked about earlier was the, the meditation, which is essentially using isochronic tones um, and you know just ambient sounds of like the ocean waving or um, rain falling. I can't remember which one it is for this meditation. But you basically listen to it. You don't need headphones. You can just play it um, you know, on your stereo or whatever you have in your room when you're going to sleep. It's about 50 minutes long, and it'll really just slow your mind down and really chill you out and relax you so that you can fall asleep a lot more quickly and easily and then just get more high-quality sleep. So using that meditation, it's allowed me to fall asleep a few some nights in under five minutes. One night I fell asleep in like three minutes, according to the Zio, which was kind of funny and really a bit of a surprise to me. So I'm sitting there laying in bed reading, just relaxing. I have the lights turned down low, 
but just high enough to where I can see to read comfortably. And then I had the meditation going, I was listening to it. And then towards the end, I started to get really drowsy, really tired. So I just closed the book, turned off the light, put on the headband for my Zio, rolled over, and I was out. And the next thing I knew, I woke up the next morning and felt pretty good. So that's the third thing. And you'll be able to see a link for that below to where you can download it for free. It's a really high quality MP3, so the file size is rather large. It's like 100 and something megabytes. So definitely check it out, definitely listen to it and add these three things into your um, program and hopefully you'll see some really good results like I have. Keep in mind my results were objective and subjective, meaning I wake up in the morning and I feel better and objective in the sense that I have my Zio, which measures everything. So I can tell what's happening in my REM, what's happening in my deep, what's happening in my light, how long it's taking me to fall asleep, how many times I'm waking up, how much time I'm spending awake at night, and then what my total score is based on those criteria when I wake up in the morning. Now, I, I will say that from a subjective point of view, I already felt like I slept really well, and I really never had much of an issue falling asleep or staying asleep. And what I have noticed over the years of taking herbs and experimenting with different strategies is that essentially the mindset of I'm here and it feels great, and I'm really satisfied with that, can always be improved and taken to another level. Meaning you might sleep great now, but you can, you can definitely do things that can improve that and take it further. Because we don't really know what we've never had or experienced, so we might think we feel great, but in reality there's you know light years beyond that, but it's because we haven't experienced it, we don't have the reference, so we can't actually compare and contrast the two things. All we can do is stand where we are and look backwards and say, wow, I feel better than I did, and this is amazing, but we can't actually say that and look forward because we just haven't been there yet, so we don't know what it's like. So it's always good, and it's a good mindset to realize that there's always room for improvement, for refinement, and for just moving towards more cultivation and just the eventual, you know, moving towards perfection, which ultimately is never to be achieved, but is always to just be, you know, a direction to be moving towards. So those three things I've been doing lately to improve the quality of my sleep. If you have any questions or comments, post them below, and I'll talk to you soon.